Hey guys, this is for the sign of Gemini for January of 2021. Wow, we're going to start that off with the devil card. Okay, stay tuned. <laughs> if this is your first time to my channel, my name is Danielle Antonito. I'm the expert in healing after toxic relationships. So in this video, you are going to get the message from spirit, but you're also going to get the energy healing to go along with it. So stay tuned. And I do pull some more cards throughout that healing, so you want to stay Tune for those messages. All right, so let's see what is going on this month. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do have new videos coming out every single week, and I go live on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with new discussions, lessons, and trainings um, every single week, okay? So make sure you hit the subscribe and the little bell notification so you can get notified when I do go live. I also have a brand new course opening up, which is... 21 days to accelerate your confidence. So we just did a confidence challenge in Facebook and it was absolutely amazing and I wanted the energy to keep going. So we are going to start February 1st. So if you want to spend 21 days with me learning all about opening yourself up, healing, changing your mindset, that is all starting um, and gaining confidence obviously in doing that, getting outside of your comfort zone, all starting on February 1st. You can find the link in the description and in the comments below. All right, so let's get started. We got the devil card. So whew, this is maybe why I had to do your reading. I was like, I got to do Gemini. I know you guys voted on everything on the, the signs if you don't check out the community tab, but um, we got the devil card here. Okay, so maybe this is a warning for you guys. Be aware of the toxicity that is around your life right now in the month of January. The devil is my narcissist card, so this is somebody that is manipulative, somebody that might be gaslighting you, which means that they are making you feel like you are the problem, you are um, crazy, the way that you're thinking, you know, you might think that they're cheating, but you, you know, they're putting it all back on you, like you're the insane one, that is what gaslighting is. So just beware here in the month of January with the toxic people around. And it doesn't just have to be in romantic relationships. It could be friendships. It could be family members. It could be coworkers. But just be aware of the narcissist that is around you in the month of January. Okay? That's the overall energy. So I feel like they're lurking. We've got the Justice card, the Two of Wands, and the Page of Cups here. So this is about really um, getting what you deserve, like knowing that you deserve more. And with the two of wands, I feel as though this is saying here is like, you really need to decide which way you want to go. So some of you know that this person is around you and you kind of like are just staying there and you're choosing to be in this misery rather than taking a different path. And you can see like with the two of wands, he's got two wands, like you can go either way. So which way do you choose? And with here, with the Page of Cups, I feel as though this is the more peaceful, calm, loving way that you want to be going. And with the Justice, you deserve this peace. You deserve to have happiness. And that is what I'm seeing here, okay? So know that no matter where you are or what you are going through, you deserve to feel loved. You deserve to have happiness. And you don't deserve whatever this person is doing to you or making you feel, right? In the middle of the month here, we've got the Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So in the middle of the month, I feel as though you start to work your way here. And we are in the middle of the month as I'm making this video. But, so this might have already happened up here. Um, or if not, again, the energy is fluid. So, But you're starting to work. Um, to get somewhere and I feel as though this is your energy about you're starting to work on you so you might have been in my challenge you might be taking other courses on healing and maybe um, changing the way that you think but you're trying to evolve yourself because you're going from the three of pentacles to the king of pentacles so I know that you're putting in the work all right and if you haven't you can check out my inner healing uh, inner child healing which is on the front page of this YouTube channel um, in the banner okay Nine of Swords, when you do this, I feel as though you're starting to get a peace of mind. You're starting to be able to calm down, like the anxiety that this person um, or situation is bringing up for you. And again, remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But whatever that situation is, I feel like it's a high stress, high energy, high anxiety type of situation. 
And when you start to work on yourself here with the three to the king here, you start to realize that you are in control of your thoughts, you are in control of your reactions, and you start to be able to sleep better at night. You're not so worried because you're, it's all starting to make sense to you is what they're showing me. Everything is starting to kind of, you're starting to understand everything in a different way, okay? And if you don't know what a narcissist is, but this is resonating with you, I have my narcissism playlist on the front page of this YouTube channel. So check that out. We've got here the Seven of Swords at the end of the month. We've got the High Priestess and we got the Temperance. I love this. Like this is telling me you are getting out of this situation, if not physically, definitely mentally. And that's one thing to understand. You can be in a narcissistic relationship, but you don't have to let it affect you as much until you can get out, right? And I know some of you are financially strapped and like you can't get out of a situation because of other other things like maybe children and finances and all of that, but you don't have to let it keep affecting you. You can build your confidence, you can build your strength and you can change your mindset. So the triggers that they try to do with you aren't going to get to you. So just be very aware of that because that's what I'm feeling here is that you've got the seven of swords. So some shady people, shady crap is going on. Okay. But you got the high priestess and the temperance. So this is telling me, and it's 2.22 on my clock right now, like this is telling me that when you connect to your intuition, when you connect to your higher self, when you go on the spiritual route, the spiritual awakening, opening your eyes to see things completely different as what you always have in the past, things are going to change for you. So please be aware of this person or situation that is around you and realize that you can change yourself so that it doesn't affect you as much and that is by cr connecting to your higher source your higher power god angels whatever you want to call it um and you can get the balance that you're looking here with the temperance card so it doesn't have to be that high anxiety high energy stress all the time you know worrying about when they're coming around you uh all of that crap like it does not have to be like that at all and this is what is showing here all right so let's go ahead and get into some energy healing with this. Let me just set the intention. Um, so yeah, we're going to, I'm hearing pull back. So we're going to, with the intention here, we're going to pull back your energy and not be so in the energy that this person tries to get you in. We're going to pull it back into this calm, peaceful energy. That's going to be the intention we go in on it with. And I am going to pull some more cards. So you want to stay tuned for to see what messages do come up for you so let's go ahead and do some energy all right so if you've never done this with me before all you are going to do is really just uh, close your eyes listen to some music and i'm going to connect the divine energy with your energy to release any blockages or trapped emotions okay um so go ahead and close your eyes i'm going to try this song i hope it's a good one go ahead and take a deep breath in something different here and let it out and take another deep breath in and go ahead and let it out okay whatever thoughts come in just let them come in let them flow out here we go
Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. And go ahead and let that out. So you can open your eyes when you are ready. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the energy healing, if you felt something. Um, you know, everyone is different of what you feel. But definitely, even if you feel a little bit more relaxed or a little bit lighter, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Um, you got the tower card here. So it says discovery, change, and adjustment. You also got the justice card again. So they are trying to show you that you deserve better than what you're settling with right now. Justice, honorable choices. So you deserve better, okay? And you're making good choices for yourself, for your children, for your family. And then you also have the Eight of Swords here, which is all about caring for yourself. So, you know, um, they're bringing to my attention here the question of, if you have children, okay, or if you don't, think of a child that you might love, could be a friend's child, whatever it is, like, would you want them to accept what you're accepting right now? And I know that sometimes it's hard to value ourselves as us, but when we think about if this was my child going through this, would I be like supportive and be like, oh yeah, stay with them, like, yes, definitely, or would you be like, no, you deserve better? And that's a really important question to ask yourself here. The tower moment is about things falling down. And yes, it feels as though your whole life is falling apart. Um, but it's actually all coming together. I actually had a little bit of a tower moment yesterday with my courses and everything. Like I wasn't expecting to launch this confidence course, yet spirit brought it to me. And then I just felt like everything was up in the air and everything was changing. And that's, that's like what the tower moment represents. So the good thing is, is you can create your own tower moments because you're listening to the little guidance that's coming like yesterday, not so big of a tower moment, right? But if I don't listen and I don't listen and I keep doing what I think I should do because of my ego or because of my fear or whatever, the tower moments get bigger and bigger and bigger. And when it finally comes, it's like everything. And this is what happened when I didn't follow my intuition with my marriage and get out sooner the, the biggest tower moment came and there was no going back and it was devastating. So it's better to make these decisions earlier so that the universe doesn't have to throw such a big tower moment at you that you have no choice now but to change. And this is when everything feels like it's falling apart. Okay, so just bringing that to your attention. So you deserve more than this. Think about that. Figure out how you can take care of yourself more. Uh, I also pulled the hermit. It is kind of camouflage there. The Hermit card is about taking that time for you. It's about isolation. And this is the thing, if you are dealing, I kind of covered it with the high priestess, but if you are dealing with the devil here, with the narcissist person, like you have to isolate yourself for a little while because you can't even get your thoughts clear because this person is always throwing their thoughts at you. And at this point, you might not know what's yours and what's theirs. So take some time, go visit a friend, do something, let them go somewhere so that you can have a couple of days just to yourself so that you can get your mind straight in order to make decisions that you have to make here, all right, and know that you deserve better than this. All right, so I hope that resonates with you. Again, if you want to spend 21 days with me starting on February 1st, I do have the course um, 21 Days to Accelerate Your Confidence. We are going to be going through healing and um, getting out of our comfort zone and we're going to be doing a lot of awesome fun stuff if you're in the challenge we are just going to continue that energy right into february uh, for the first 21 days of february all right so let's start this year off in a good way start to heal start to get out there start to get out of your comfort zone start to build that confidence especially with this get yourself out of situations that don't make you feel good all right, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to join, you can find the link in the description and in the comments below. Much love to you. You are worth more than what you're settling for right now. Much love. Bye.